Hello all, welcome to eDramax. Sequence diagrams are defined as illustrations of different parts of a system interacting with each other to carry out any function and its order when a particular use case is executed. Now let's learn more about the sequence diagram notations. Basically, sequence diagrams are made up of the following icons and elements. The object symbol represents a class or object in UML, demonstrating how an object will behave in the system. The activation box represents the time needed for an object to complete a task. The actor symbol represents entities that interact with or are external to the system. The package symbol represents a frame, with a rectangular shape having a small inner rectangle for labeling the diagram. The lifeline symbol represents the passage of time as it extends downward sequentially. The option loop symbol represents a circumstance like if-then scenarios that will only occur under certain conditions. The alternative symbol symbolizes a choice between two or more message sequences representing alternatives. To show how information is transmitted between objects, common message symbols are used. A synchronous message symbol represents when a sender must wait for a response to a message before it continues showing both the call and the reply. An asynchronous message symbol doesn't require a response before the sender continues, and only the call should be included in the diagram. An asynchronous return message symbol is represented by a dashed line with a lined arrowhead. The asynchronous create message symbol is represented by a dashed line with a lined arrowhead creating a new object. The reply message symbols are replied to calls. And the delete message symbol is represented by a solid line with a solid arrowhead followed by an X destroying an object. Now let's learn how to draw a sequence diagram. In eDraw Max, creating a sequence diagram from scratch is surprisingly simple. A sequence diagram represents the flow of events in one single use case, and the message flow is based on the narrative of that particular use case. Before you start drawing, it is necessary to draw the use case diagram and ready a comprehensive description of what the particular use case does. Now let's draw a sequence diagram in eDraw Max. Navigate to File, select the New option, and select Software and Database from the list. Now click on the Software Development option and then choose UML Modeling to draw a sequence diagram in eDraw Max. There you'll find various templates of effective sequence diagrams to draw based on your requirements. Click on the plus icon to open a new drawing sheet. You can directly drag the UML sequence diagram symbols from the symbol library on the left into the drawing sheet as needed. The first step is to identify the objects or actors. Before drawing the sequence diagram, it's necessary to identify the objects or actors that would be involved in creating a new user account. The next step is to list down the steps involved in the use case. The third step is to identify the messages between objects. From each of these steps, you can easily specify what messages should be exchanged between the objects in the sequence diagram. Once it's clear, you can go ahead and start drawing the sequence diagram. Continue drawing the sequence diagram as needed.
Instead of cluttering your sequence diagram with several objects and groups of messages that will confuse the reader, draw a few smaller sequence diagrams that aptly explain what your system does. Make sure that the diagram fits on a single page and leave space for explanatory notes too. You can change colors from the theme option on the right pane to enhance the diagram. Now let's look into common mistakes in sequence diagrams. Adding too much detail clutters up the diagram and makes it difficult to read. Replace or modify obsolete and out-of-date diagrams that are irrelevant to the system. It's difficult to read the diagram when you don't leave blank space between the use case text and the message arrow. And not considering the origins of message arrows carefully. Now let's see more examples of sequence diagrams. This is an app creation sequence diagram. Here's a UML sequence diagram. And an interface call sequence diagram. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDraw Max videos. Please find the link in the description below to try eDraw Max online or to download the software.